Okay, I think we're live. Basically, obviously, we're going to. Oh man, close this garage. Alright, we'll go with that. We got anyone in the live right now? Let's see. First, let's get the stencil on there, get it taped off, and then we'll go with that. So, yeah. it's carefully, it's so fragile. There's a preview of the next painting right there. That's one. That in the background. Yo, there he is. What's up, Hans? Please coming in. My dude, I was checking out your Insta. Uh, cool to see all the sneakers, man. We're we're getting the project going here. It should be some fun. So I hope you enjoy this process. So I'm just kind of setting up the stencil now. Yo, Pandalore, oh hi. What's up, guys? I hope you can see me all right. Uh, <laughs> this is like trial run GoPro and I have my phone that I can kind of watch but it's like delayed a little so <laughs> yo what's up cat my man throwing it down cool so um, I, I just slid off the stencil but the background is similar to this this is like kind of a 80s vibe background but same size canvas so this is gonna be those Chicago ones, Pons. What's up, Panda? How are you? It looks good, thank you. I'll show you guys this. I mean, I don't know if it doesn't help much, but there it is. So we're about to spray this guy off, but I need to tape it down and get my plan ready for the spray. And then we'll get to spraying. So pretty much. Get it lined up here as close as I can. And I apologize for some of this exterior sound. Ooh, Dang, I see one detail that I'm going to want to get. I have a exact one here. You know what? Since, okay, so this is tape that I've used to help have one piece of scotch tape there. Put it anywhere else. Okay, now it is. Now it's free. Essentially, that white should be 
just inside of the lines of this stencil. It's pretty good right about there. Ooh, I have one piece. One piece I need to put in there. But I wonder if it'll work. Right back, guys. Let me, I'll catch up with chat. Yo, Cap wants to see the fridge, the room tour. It's gonna happen one day, guys. I actually was thinking of a cool video that we're gonna do for YouTube as well, which is gonna be the uh, my trip to, my one month trip to Europe in 2012. So this is the little piece that I got. It's part of the Nike Air on the tongue tag that I wanna have included. I don't know really what else to do except just sit, set it on there, set it and forget it. It's going to be what it is now, but it kind of broke off. So, okay. So our first step, bust out the blue tape because we don't, number one, want any overspray on the edges, but also and use just a small piece, roll it in on itself, make a little sticky, and place it underneath, right at the top, so that it doesn't move. So it shouldn't move too much from there. So when I go to peel it up, also, it'll kind of stay in place because all of these fine details are going to want to kind of stick down and and then that's the other thing that I'm remembering I wanted to do. I want to make a little puller. I just kind of thought of this idea. I think I might need a little bit bigger piece of tape, but essentially that should be good. So it's a sort of little, almost a wedge shape, probably a T shape upside down with these little flaps on the bottom. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to pull it up cleanly. And the first thing I see sticking is this part right here. So I want to be able to assist that as I pull it up. Someone's fucking doing burns. I don't know what is going on. Right there. So then hopefully I can. And then I think... That's so annoying. Can you guys hear the fucking burnouts going down right here? Nice. <laughs> I don't know what is happening. How, uh, Cap, how's the quality? First try with this setup, so. All right. That should work pretty good. And once that's up, let's see how that does. Oh yeah, I think I have headphones. It's a little dark because it's night. I need some light. I know I can have like I better not be a motherfucker do the burnouts. Um I have a light set up over here, but yeah, it's probably not quite bright enough, huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll have to work on it. I'll be anxious to watch the VOD. I don't have it. Yeah, it does look pretty dark, huh? It's super dark. <laughs> this, is, this is pretty ghetto right now, guys. We'll get it better. So, and I'm going to get a different camera angle once I go to spray it off. Oh, hell. My Air Jordan Air logo. Oh, the little, my little cutout. Okay, so it's in a position I like. Let's tape it down. Actually, let's weigh it down. No. Yeah, let's weigh it down. Because then it's less likely to move. Spray paint cans for us to weigh this guy down. Inside. We're just gonna, I guess we'll just try to. It's gonna be tough. Okay. I think we're just gonna try to weigh the whole outside down here. And then. Use my little rocks on the inside. We might be able to just sort of get it all in one fell swoop, but let's see. Let's try to get a new angle here. That looks cool. Let's see how that does. And then maybe, probably, this guy up. I don't know if that is even better. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty good, huh? I like this. All right, guys, cool. So now, let's get it all weighed down, then I'll take. These are the tools of the trade. Rocks and little nuts and bolts covered in tape to weigh down your stencil, those parts that paint might try to get up underneath it in there. So we're just going to pick out some different spots. Let's see how that fits so perfect right there. This is pretty fine detailed stencil, so it's really a lot of things are kind of big. But we'll also use a stick to kind of push down in the spots that we're spraying. It looks pretty good, honestly, right now. Let's see how it looks for you guys. Oops.
pretty good. I wonder, I'd love to get a little bit more straightforward shot. Let's see what we can do. I also don't want to get paint on the GoPro, but probably trying to get it situated here. Or I might be kind of close. Let's see. That's pretty good. I think we're gonna get much better at this point. As close as I can get you. Okay. Try to fit a couple more rocks in here, maybe. Because the closer the the more it's pressed down, uh, the better detail we will get. Maybe spread these rocks out here. Make that's a nice one. I love when the shape of the rock just fits space so perfectly. See, that's a big space with no cuts in it, even though I, I did draw it out. I didn't actually cut them out. So. But you just don't want the rocks to overlap. I'm going to replace that one for just a you don't want the rocks to go over your lines. All right. Now we'll just really take our time. Oh, let's see, the stencil's a little bent. looks pretty good. There's a bar in the middle, so some of the weight pressing down on the sides is sort of distorting them, but that's going to be okay. We're ready to spray. Who's ready to see the spray? My man, Cap, what's up, DeBall? Let's go, baby. My man. Oh, you didn't, you didn't set your title or game. Oh, sorry. Uh, thank you, DeBall. This is uh, the first stream with... Uh, uh, the GoPro outside wireless. So thank you for doing that, my dude. Um, I saw you're in Colorado. I was actually just in Colorado hiking a week ago. Yeah, these are the Chicago bred ones, my dude. So it's going down right now. I got to put my phone in a safe place. Guess I'll have to do. Let's put on the respirator. And hopefully everything we have done in preparation will pay off. There's nothing to it but to do it. So you can tell that I use this little stick to press down. That's why the end is painted on the details. Where I, where I can't weigh down, so that'll hopefully get the most clean registration possible. And of course we'll be using some gloss black the outline was already done in gloss white. Strap on a nice bit of This is truly the fun part. Okay, so it's always good to make a plan of how you're gonna spray. I think I'm gonna to try to spray left to right. My biggest issue is this little strip at the top. So I'm gonna to try to get that in sort of two parts. So let's start up there. And just that little bit is good enough, trust me. 
we'll move on to this area, make sure it's pressed down to that edge. Now I'll try to get the other side of this little strip. That's pretty good. Continue to try to keep that down as I get some details there. Just try my best to keep the pressure down. Not let that paint sneak up under. This right here is good. Where else? Let's see. Uh, right here, see this is sticking up. Problem area. Right here is critical to push down. so much. Less is more to a lot here. Tell you that. And if you spray straight down, instead of kind of at an angle, you have less chance of it. You can underneath. This paint is getting low. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh man. Uh, okay. That can is probably very old and Oh dude, I didn't tape off. That's okay. We might see a little little paint on the edges, but because this paper goes to the edge almost all the way, it'll be alright.
It's more noticeable with the light, which I did tape off the light. Alright, now the fun part. Pretty much I'm gonna try to get this off. Not necessarily as quick as possible, there's not really any rush, but if, if you do leave it too long, you can have some issues. Alright. Let's see how we did. Okay, so we have a pull tab there. I'm gonna loosen. I don't usually advise this, but I'm gonna loosen this. You see, sometimes if it lifts up and sets down, it can smear, but let's see. I am going to do one thing. Uh, let's see. Actually, I have to think about where I'm going to set my stencil because it's so fragile. If I don't set it on a flat surface, if I don't set it on a flat surface, it could destroy it. Let's make sure you can see the reveal. Hello. Okay. Ooh, let's see. Oh God, see. Stencil may now be destroyed. Oh God! Oh uh, no! Oh God! So fragile. But we got a clean, pretty clean spray. Pretty clean. Not bad. I actually really like it. But uh, I, think, I think that might be the end of this one because it's kind of wet with paint. We may be able to preserve it once it's dry, but actually it looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think we might have been able to salvage. Oh, there was a piece of tape right there. That sucks, man. I knew there was one more. It probably did help us uh, pull it up in the end, but well, let's look at our final product here. Salvage that. Take off the respirator. Also, trying to salvage this glove because you know, especially nowadays, stuff's in high demand. Honestly, I am pretty pumped on it. I like it. What do you guys think?
We need to find our butt. <laughs> Been alright, August, September kind of sucked. Looking good. Okay, so I'm obviously a dummy. I have no idea how this happened. <laughs> Dude, my man Pond's like, bro, this is this is why I do it, man, so that you can see him. You know, ah, see, I wish I had pushed a little bit further down a little on some of these details because it's not quite as clean. See, those are, that's more clean, but um it's pretty you know it's, it's kind of fun when it when it, you get some of those fades in where it doesn't exactly press down see the laces you know to get that oh man it's just really tough but actually it kind of works well at sometimes you know it's it can't be perfect and that's why stencils are pretty cool but sometimes but uh yeah dude that's why i'm doing this so you guys can see and maybe you'll be like oh you know it'll click you're like oh dang that's how it worked um because you can go back, you know, and watch the VODs and see exactly how uh, I cut everything out, you know. And, I mean, you were there for a lot, but, um, yeah, man, I, you know, that's what, that's what I'm kind of trying to do is just sort of reveal the magic about it, so to speak. I mean, there's, there's, there's something special about stencil. But, um, okay, so now we have to let this dry totally and completely. Go watch, yeah, yeah, dude, uh, that's what it's there for, you know, like, um, like I said, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm doing this process so you guys can see how it's done, you know? Um, let's see, so, well, let's do this. Let's set this guy up over here, let me do this. Let's do this. You guys can look at the beautiful garage for a second. And bring it over here. I'm gonna set this up. don't know I don't know if we can do the splatter background we're gonna have to wait probably an hour we'll see how it goes if it gets too boring let's see what the setup looks like thickness of the canvas um it is yeah I don't know yeah somewhere around probably a half inch Tape measure. Got a level. <laughs> I don't have a tape measure, but yeah, you can see here the thickness if that helps. Maybe not. But what's so cool is so like you know the glossiness of it that'll stand out against some of the matte, but like you can even see like how the paint hits. It's fun to look at the stencil at different angles. You know? Ooh, I'm pretty pumped with that, honestly. I hope, I hope, I think we can get another one, just maybe with some repairs. And it's always fun to, to look at the stencil and, and, and say, uh, you know, okay, next time I'm gonna push down harder here, or try to lay this area down, you know. Ultimately, I gotta get a new can of gloss black because the other one is an embarrassment. Um, it was it was unpredictable on how much it was spraying out, which is a problem. Like I say, I mean, you'd be amazed at how how far it goes. Like even better with the light. Oh yeah, can you see? It? I know. Yeah, I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. Let's do this. Let's set this down.
see this, but let's see. It is what it is, I guess, there. Maybe, oh, and there's also one detail. Oh, this is crazy, okay. Hold on, let's bring it over here. So this is pretty good right here. Sorry guys, just wish I could find that perfect angle. That's not bad. I'm gonna go with that for now. Imagine. See, even if I wear, I don't wear gloves on this hand, but I need to. Throws it off totally, huh? Yo, what's up, Pizza Poppy? How you doing, man? Hope you get enough for everyone. <laughs> Pizza. Oh, man. Guys, new glasses in the house. What do you think? It's cool to see so the stencil over there. Like all the little little holes around, it looks like that's all the cans where it's weighed down. It's cool to see that after. Dude, I'm doing good, Pizza Poppy. How you doing this evening, my man? Looks clean. Thank you, Cat. Oh, the Broncos piece? Oh, thank you, my man. Pons, are you from Colorado or originally? Or I know you said you visited, but um, thank you very much, man. Yeah, um, that was from my good buddy's parents. Um, they, uh, they commissioned me for it and they had the image and that was the largest painting that I've ever made. Four by six foot, six foot one wide. So yeah, uh, pretty crazy project, man. Text and life are all right, I'm with it. <laughs> Sprinkle some chives. <laughs> Just vibing right now, I love it, man. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that was that was a fun time, that Minecraft uh, little deal. I've never quite seen anything like that. So this is my classic spray painting in the, the garage when it's super cold. It just snowed a whole bunch uh, yesterday. Yeah, Tuesday, yeah. So, oh man, so much paint on my fingers. But yeah, I think we knocked it out pretty good. Oh yeah, there is one detail. Watch this. Let me see. I need, I need tweezers. Might be able to get it by hand. This little guy that we inset, remember? It's stuck there. If I smear it, I can touch it up. Oh yeah. It worked. Perfectly. That's sick. That little guy. Ripping off a band-aid. <laughs> um, so essentially, like I say, we would have to let this dry completely before if we wanted to go into doing the splatter background. But I don't I don't think we're gonna be able to do that. So Oh what's up, Wired? How you doing, man? I mean, we can't do it right now. We have to at least wait. I mean, like I say, we, we have to wait. Oh, where should I put this? I'll put it right here. Still a little sticky with paint. We have to wait though, we don't have a choice. For it to dry. Question is, do we wait just 
an hour hanging out in the garage or should I come back with another live stream tonight when it's done in about an hour? Or do you guys even want to see that at all? Maybe you don't. If I could maybe get some Chicago, Chicago colorways with a little, little twist, maybe I could, dude, post Christmas though, Hans, my dude. Yeah, I appreciate you. Yeah, you saw the, the custom video. I can make it happen for you, my man. Absolutely. Yeah, no, I will. Yeah, I want to charge you a grand on that. Especially if you get the shoes, I can make it happen on the colorway for, um, yeah, for definitely a lot less than a thousand, at least half that and probably even better than that. Um, definitely. So for sure, man, I got you. I got you 100%. We'll, we'll work out. Send me a, send me a whisper, Pons, for sure. And, uh, We'll make it happen, man. I'll get you hooked up. I know you want that Chicago colorway. It's so sick. I'm down for it, too. Big time. I wish I... I need to see myself framed up because I'm just hanging out in the corner here. Gauze on the left side of my face. But I, Okay, Wired, how did it go for you, man? That's right. 